actually, LaShawn and others, you should consider the sister of the faith. My sister, 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 LaShawn, 82, she says, here is one suggestion. She says, please refrain from any symbols using the B. The B is the symbol of the ruling kleptocracy in Ethiopia. They who do not believe in God and they who worship Satan and who have desecrated the Chopiawian holy flag, the Sendak Alama, by placing a satanic or a satanawi milikit or symbol on it. No bees, please. Lishan, 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 this is for you. Sister, sister, sister. I, I understand. I overs where you're coming from. I overs. You could you know they say a higher program can read a lower program just to say that because of the level of knowledge and interpretation that you're using about the B symbol, you understand? There and, and who's using it right now, what they're doing. In other words, based on a narrow a cipher of historical um 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 Evidence that because of a limitation of knowledge, you are assuming that the B belonged to Satan. The B doesn't belong to Satan. You understand? It says that the Satan, the devil, is the god of this world. You understand? I mean, now think about it. That means that we should leave the world. A lot of religious folks who are limited in their belief from previous time believe that. They believe in defenseless martyrdom. You see what I'm saying? The true, the true, um, Nine saints of Ethiopia, they were known as warrior priests. They fought for the faith. Kedus Georgis, he also was, was a warrior. He was a religious, a faithful, spiritual man, but he recognized at a certain point that you had to fight, even physically, if necessary, against the enemies. You see what I'm saying? But I'm not trying to encourage, you know, any kind of um, nonsense. You, you see what I'm saying? That's why I have to speak to you about this B symbol. The B may be the ruling symbol of the kleptocracy, the so-called uh, TPLF or whatever they want to call themselves in Ethiopia, and they may not believe in God and they worship Satan, they desecrate it. But the B, come on, la la bella, la la bella. The bees won't, won't eat him. You understand? The B makes the honey, the honey bee. The Queen of Sheba is the bee. So they are misusing these symbols. Come on. If a Satan worshiper wears a cross, am I going to say I'm not going to wear a cross if I'm a Christian and I believe in wearing the cross or sporting the cross? Think about that for a moment, what you're saying, sis. I mean, we see the swastika, you understand, or what they call the swastika, swastika, you understand, as some of the Germans call it in Ethiopia. So white folks can come and say, oh, well, the swastika is a white people symbol, so it's white. I and mean, it's the same thing that ones like Graham Hancock, even though we agree with some of the things he's put out, but the same thing like these white scholars like Graham Hancock, the disinformation they're putting out there as well, where they're saying, look, in La Labella and the other um, Rock Hewn Church complex, they know this uh, Knights Templar symbol. Thus, therefore, Silesia, or ergo, according to them, Knights Templars built this in Ethiopia. And so it wasn't Ethiopians who built this according to the racist, you understand, the biased, the real Satan, Illuminati Satan worshippers, the Luciferian Satanists, but it was actually some white folks. Who did it? Because of symbols. You see what they're doing? And it's the same thing that you're doing. The B is one of our symbols. So what do we do about this? If the kleptocracy, so-called ruling kleptocracy in Ethiopia, how did they get out the other kleptocracy in Ethiopia or the other rule? I mean, how do we make any changes? I think we understand that. And people who believe in God understand that there's certain sacrifices in the way of the true God in Christ that has to be made to change certain circumstances, but to be wise as serpents, as harmless as the Oh, what about the serpent right there? The serpent is a symbol for Satan. So why is Christ saying be wise like Satan? Why, I mean, if that way of interpreting it, if that faulty hermeneutic is correct, and I'm already giving you a hint it's not correct, but if that's correct, then why would Christ use this Satanistic Symbolism wasn't this, isn't the snake the symbol of Satan from a lower form of Christianity? It's it's only the symbol of Satan. So therefore, we don't want to use no snakes. 
You understand? Therefore, we don't want to use no. So what happens is that the people of God, all things were given to the children of God for good. Understand this. All things was given to the children of God for good. You see what I'm saying? For good, it says that evil shall hunt and overtake and destroy the wicked. So even evil in that sense for the wicked, that is good. It's good for them. You understand? But the symbol of the bee is not to be limited to this the, these people now. But people are just using symbols at the cross. And I think the cross is the best way of just initially explaining this to you. I was just very I'm happy to hear from you. You understand? It was about 14 hours ago you left this message. But I'm a little bit saddened that many of my beloved brothers and sisters, especially you sister, 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 actually have been made to believe that, I don't know if your priestess and the priest uh, have told this sort of thing to you, but a lot of them are very ignorant. I mean, I have to say this, a lot of the Ethiopian priests are very ignorant and very limitly educated. This is, this is one reason why we're in the predicament that we're in today. You understand? It's because we have the so-called, the, 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 the worst foot forward, in other words, with God. I mean, for all, for all, of all people, of all ones and ones, with the Almighty God. So a lot of the priests are dealing with superstition, and even the, especially a lot of the Ethiopian priests. Let's just get this out the way. We're in the last days. Don't you see what's going on, what's happening nowadays? You understand what day and time we're in? So why are we going to hold this back? Not all the priests. No, there's some very good priests, you understand, in the Ethiopian Orthodox Church. But unfortunately... Especially amongst us out here in the diaspora, because we see any Ethiopian, he's a priest, he can talk with a dialect and accent. We're like, hey, you're a real Ethiopian. Whatever comes out your mouth is gold, although we can't spend it or get any value for it. You see what I'm saying? Although what they're telling us, it has no value. It's worthless. So therefore, what comes out of their mouth is not gold. So if you're a priest or if other priests or religious folk, a lot of the superstitious religious folk, you understand, who... Maybe faithful on a level, you understand? But then they also have a lot of superstitions that, are, that have no biblical justification. They cannot explain it based on any teaching of Christ, but it's a lot of other things that like ancestral worship and a lot of other things have crept in and, you know, tribal animalistic worship and so forth and so on. This is one of the things that, you know, in this cauldron that Ethiopia was in over the 3,000 years, it was only able to purify to such an extent that a God-man such as Haile Selassie, that man-child, could be born there, and that generation could be born there, you understand, which could preserve, you understand, Ethiopia as a, as a footprint, you understand, for us and our children and our children's children to have as a reference point for consciousness. Because if Ethiopia was destroyed, they could have removed it off the map like everything else about our great history and past, and we would not know ourselves. We would be lost and wandering without any sense, you understand, of hope in this earth, you understand? But the B should not be misconstrued. Please don't, because if you do that, then you fall into their trap. You fall into their intellectual landmine, you understand? If you misconstrue the B. You understand, to be an evil symbol. The bee is very much associated, you understand, with true Ethiopia. If evil people, if godless and cruel people and persecutors of God's true people are misusing or abusing this symbol, then what do the righteous people have to do? They have to reclaim it. They have to expose. You understand, don't have any partnership or fellowship with the works of the, but expose it. You understand what Christ said about the Pharisees? Christ says, he says, observe what they observe. You recall that? It's in the Bible, not in the liturgy, but the Bible. You understand? Observe what they observe, but don't do after their works. Don't do what they do. You understand? So observe how they're using our symbol, because if they can disempower you from symbols, because symbols have meanings and embedded meanings. If you fight now against this kleptocracy in Ethiopia as though it's the devil, right, instead of being deceived, devil's advocates, rather, you understand? But if you fight against them and say this symbol now, the bee is a symbol of the devil, you're going to fight against the bee. If you fight against the bee, you ain't going to have no honey. If you don't have no honey, you ain't going to have any kind of other crops. A lot of crops like corn and wheat and everything else, that's why a lot of places in Africa don't have crops. 
A lot of them are barren land because when you destroy certain parts of the cultural and the physical, you know, like the insects and the living creatures that are part of and the living ideas that are part of the cultural landscape, you destroy your environment. You understand? You destroy your environment. So my sister, my sister, Lishan, 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 the bee is not an evil symbol. And if a evil kleptocracy is misusing this symbol, well, welcome to the real world. You understand? Many of uh, God's own Bible has been used to enslave God's own people, and they were told that they have no part in the Bible. Then they learned they're the lost sheep of the house of Israel. How is that for deception? Hmm?